In this video, I'm going to walk you through how your students log in to Inner Orbit. At this point, you should have either imported rosters through Google or given students an ad code. Or if you're a district partner, we've synced all your rosters and you'll see each one of your class rosters listed below. If your students have Google email addresses or they've been linked through Google Classroom, you'll see their usernames as their email address or you'll see Darth Vader, Homer Simpson, Lenny Leonard. To give students the link to log in, you'll click on this link and then send it out to your students through Google Classroom or however you distribute assignments. Students with Google email addresses or who have been synced with Google Classroom will click sign in with Google and they'll go instantly into their accounts after logging into their Google account. If your students are using usernames and passwords and do not have Google email addresses, they'll enter their username, their password, and as a teacher, you'll need to share with them their school ID. This is found in the top right corner of your account. In this case, my school ID is 13615. Students will enter that in and click login to log into their account. When students first log in, on the right-hand side, they'll see the names of the class rosters that they're in, and on the left-hand side, they'll see all of their upcoming assignments. Students can click into assignments and get started. Students also have access to scores. In the scores tab, students can see assessments they've just taken and are waiting on scores, or assessments that have been completed and teachers have released their scores. In your teacher account, you'll be able to decide if you want students to see their assessment answers and scores, or if you want to block them from seeing those scores. 